We live in a world that is full of data. A good portion of this data is about ourselves. And many companies have data about ourselves. The way we walk around, safety camera picks up our face and movements. Google is picking up our searches. Amazon knows what we're buying and so on. Well, over the next 10 years, all these personal data that today are scattered around will be harvested to create a sort of digital image of ourselves. And each one of us is going to have what we call a personal digital twin. Now, a personal digital twin is a sort of model representing myself and at various levels, including the aspect of my health. And healthcare will be evolving to take into account this kind of data. But my personal data are also important when we're putting this data in common with many, many other people and their personal data. Of course, we want to have a sort of a shell isolating, keeping the privacy of this data. But on the base of need to know, part of this data may be anonymized and released, shared. This turns out to be very important in cases like an epidemic, where you can pinpoint and detect immediately a, a source of epidemic, a potential source of epidemic, a hotbed coming up. And this, of course, can also be very, very useful if you want to check the expansion of the epidemics and contain it, because you can trace how the epidemic is expanding and then go back to each of these personal digital twins with information of caution or risk, potential risk, and induce a behavior that eventually will result in a very, very strong societal benefit. So my piece is all about the growth of these personal digital twins.